Hey class, Mr. Rawls here with our instructions for how to use Google Earth Pro and the extra functionality within that that allows us to do Google Mars and Google Moon in order to do our planetary geology labs. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on your internet browser and you can do a Google search quick for Google Earth Pro or you could type in google.com slash earth slash versions. Now obviously at school, if you're doing this in a school computer, then you should have this downloaded already onto our school desktops. So this is only if we're doing this remotely. And so if you, we're doing this remotely, what you wanna do is scroll down and we have at the very bottom here, Google Earth Pro. So you actually do have to download this specific program. You, could, you can't do it from the browser. So if you hit launch Earth here, you're gonna launch the browser version, which is awesome for Google Earth, but Google Mars and Google Moon only work with all the functionality that we need on Google Earth Pro. And so you want to download this and I'm going to assume that, well, you could kind of pause this for a second and make sure that this downloads okay. Let me know, obviously, if you have any questions with that. And so what I'm going to do now is back out of this and I already have Google Earth Pro installed, so I'm just going to launch it up. And so you should get something that looks ex kind of exactly like this. Note that uh, you can kind of click and drag to move around. Obviously, we could go and try to find uh, our area south of Minneapolis, um, and you can do all of that. So I'm using the scroll wheel. You can also use the zoom functionality here on the top right. If I ever want to align uh, straight north, you can always click on that north button. So that's that's one nice thing, especially when you're using Google Mars, you get a sense of direction. You can always realign the planet by clicking, realign with the north pole of the planet by clicking north. And so what I want to do now is to get to Google Mars is I'll click on this button that looks like Saturn up here and I'll just load up. So we have the option to do Google Moon as well. And the instructions for this are going to be very similar if we ever did use Google Moon uh, or Google Mars. And so we're just going to focus on Mars for this video. So I'm going to click on Mars and it should zoom me out. It might take a little bit longer for you to load just because I've loaded this before. Uh, the first time it might be a pretty slow process. So, and you just let me know if you have any problems with this. So this is, uh, this is super cool. Uh, when you're looking at features, you can scroll in and it'll start to, to pull up certain features. So right, when you pull out, you might not see very much. You kind of have to zoom in to actually pull out a lot of these features. So I'm just gonna go over some of the very basic options. You could spend a lot of time exploring this, but I wanna talk about some of the most basic things. So the first thing is if you ever want to find a feature, like for example, Olympus Mons is the largest feature on Mars. It's the largest mountain system in the solar system. And so one, one thing we could look at first is I could just type in Olympus Mons and it'll actually just take me right there too, which is awesome. We're gonna, you're gonna need to do this for your lab pretty much right away too. And so one thing that's kind of confusing is it'll, it'll take us a little bit, uh, it'll like zoom in too much I've noticed for some of these things. So really what we want to do is we're looking at Olympus Mons. We're looking at this whole feature uh, around here. And so that's something, so you could like pull up, there's so much information about, this is this is one of the most data rich apps you can imagine. There's a lot of information about Mars. You could pull up any of these stacks of information and learn more about what the, the specific image is. There's some higher resolution images embedded uh, in here from the various probes and orbiters that we've sent to Mars. So that's something that we can just, you can spend hours and hours exploring Google Mars, which is just incredible. Uh, for this first question on the lab, let me pull that up. Um, I ask you to go to find the highest feature of Mars and the lowest feature topography wise. So Olympus Mons, we just said was the biggest mountain in the solar system, which means it's the biggest mountain on Mars. And that means that that's gonna be your biggest feature on uh, that's gonna be your biggest feature on Mars. So one way to make that more clear too, if I wanna zoom out a little bit, to do a terrain topography map, you can go to global maps here. And this is something we're gonna to wanna to do a lot in this lab. You can kind of toggle in between these. This is probably the most useful feature, at least for studying the geology and the topography of Mars. And what we can do, so I'm in the global maps tab and I can go down to colorized terrain and it will take a second to load, but you'll notice now all of a sudden you have a you have a vertical relief map. You have this elevation data here that goes uh, from, I mean, it looks like negative nine kilometers to 21 kilometers. And so that's one thing too, when we're talking about vertical relief, you have to know we're talking at 
uh, at our standard, I guess with Mars is a little silly, but standard sea level, zero kilometers. And so you could have like below surface and above surface features. And so when we're looking at, you can kind of tell, look at these mountain, this uh, chain of mountain chains, and then we have Olympus Mons here. This is our largest feature. So if I zoomed back in, how to find the actual height, there are a bunch of different tools we can use to do that. But I think the simplest way for you guys, just for the purpose of this lab, is if you look down here on the bottom right, I can see elevation data. So right, right now I'm just scrolling over this yellow here, so I'm seeing like 3,000 feet. And so we can actually go around and you can, you know, kind of getting a rough estimate. Look, you can see like we're clearly in the range of 60, 65, 66, 67,000. And so what you want to do is kind of find a rough estimate, maybe do a couple passes, see where you can find the highest height uh, on here, just visually. So in this lab, we're not going to be uh, very peculiar about finding the exact, exact height. Uh, and there are tools that you can use to do that. If, for example, I wanted to find length, so this will be another important feature, you can click on this ruler button here. I'll scroll this up to the top. And there's a couple options for this. Uh, you could do a straight line path, and you can change the uh, units. So if I wanted to do miles, I could just take a straight line path of how long this is. This isn't how high it is, but if now we're, we're measuring actual length, which is something we'll do later as well. And so, again, just to reiterate, we can look at uh, topography data just based off of, so elevation based off of uh, the stuff we see here at the bottom. And then we can look at distance data using these tools here. You could also do a path tool. So if I wanted to, to take the path of a certain, uh, like a certain um, feature that maybe isn't exactly linear, then what I want to do is you can, so I just clicked here and here to make a straight path and then you can click anywhere else and it'll keep connecting these lines and it'll tell you the total length of that path basically as you do that. So later on, there is a point where you are going to use that path tool because there is going to be something I'm going to have you measure the length of that isn't a straight shot. Uh, I'm going to keep that a little bit of a mystery for now. And so I think, at least initially, that's all the tools that you're going to need. So you, you probably want to use that search feature. I just kind of spoiled it and said Olympus Mons is going to be the tallest feature. I'm going to let you find, based off of uh, zooming out here, let me clear all of this stuff and exit out. So based off of your colorized terrain, uh, I'll have you look around the planet and try to find where the lowest point of elevation is. And then from there, I think that's the, those are all the tools you'll need to answer the questions in the lab. All right, I think that should do it. So let me know if you have any questions with Google Mars. Otherwise, have a great day.